IT Vet Belize City students showcase their knowledge and skills at their annual open house. Students from across several vocational and technical courses exhibited samples of their work with detailed displays from cosmetology to refrigeration and welding. IT Vet instructor Roderick Eligio says this event serves two purposes. It's a day when we get the opportunity to show off. Um, we display all what we have done or we have learned over a period of between eight to nine months. And we also use it as a way of recruitment. We invite high schools, we invite the public um, to come and see what we have done. Now, while you're going to see the product, the product of what we have done, um, there are processes behind that. And, and that is where the students are going to explain what they have done. IT vet programs are intensive. About 70% of a course is practical work and 30% is theory. The automated course typically runs for about nine months. Justin Waite and Carl Augustin share why they're doing the certified program. I was attending um, UB at first and then um, I decided that career-wise I wanted to do a trade because my father is a welder so I already grew up in a trade field right so and my favorite thing was always mechanic right so then I decided to myself you know what uh, best I come to IT vet and do my um, training okay, well going to seek um, employment with this um, background, I will have the proper knowledge and the understanding of how the mechanical feel uh, operate in terms of the engines and so forth. Because they have a lot of mechanics out there that, yes, they do know what they're doing, but some of them because of the, the lack of that um, finishing touch, you would call it. I came with a background of it already. So how I came to IT Vet for is to get certified. You know, and yes, I learn a lot of stuff, a new stuff too. You know, and I also add towards it too and help out my father, um, brothers and sister, my brothers in the automotive field too, in my class, in my automotive class. I enjoy a lot, ma'am. I, the, the teachers, they, they teach you how to, if I left, because right now I'm, I'm, I'm presently employed, but if I choose to left my employment and go somewhere else, they teach you to, um, they develop your skills to actually approach your employees and then you lay whatever you got, whatever knowledge you have on the table, so, they could, so you could be employed. Beth Sharon is the only female doing welding at the IT Vet Belize City. She says her goal is to have her own business. Never done welding before, but I gave it a try. And so far, I'm doing good. I'm doing top in the class and everything. It has been a challenge, but I like challenges. It doesn't stay at one level. It goes um, higher, but more likely out of the country. If not, until I can reach that goal, I plan to work right in the country and later on have my own business. After students complete the program, they do a one month on the job training in different workplaces. According to Eligio, the IT vet's success rate is high. More than 90% of the students find gainful employment. In most cases, our trainees are kept at the places that they have been placed to do that on the job training, what we call OJT. So, I would definitely put our success rate um, between 90 and 95 percent. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.